things up. So I guess that's how, I guess that's a long version of how I get it done. <laughs> but like, I, I, I wouldn't say like, I'm in it yet. Yeah. I, I think I have a long way to go. But when I get in there, I hope, hopefully I can have enough experience and enough resources to make it a longevity thing rather than a quick snap. Oh, where do you see him doing this? I mean, he's very passionate about the music that he produces and everything, um, as well as theater. And knowing him the way I do, I know that no matter what gets in his way, he's going to do what he's passionate about. So I have no doubt in my mind that he'll have no problem balancing both. He's very dedicated. Like, even just before we left to come here today, he was writing music. Um, and it's just, I'll come home, and he's sitting on the couch with the microphone right here, and <laughs> he's recording or something. He's always trying to fill his downtime in doing something that he loves and so when he gets the opportunities to translate that to a professional setting he'll have no problem i have no doubt in my mind about that that's beautiful oh shit <laughs> that's beautiful thank you for that. <laughs> yeah. oh gosh wow but yeah that's so cool that like both of you guys both support each other no matter what yeah. you know like although like we both She's know <laughs> like I, I don't know it's just you, you find those people you know like you know like it's not even a it's not even a relationship thing before this we were just friends like we just talked all the time and we talked about serious things and it wasn't hard and we were allowing ourselves to not just talk about theater uh, mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things too is we're not always just talking about it you know we don't allow ourselves to dwell on like the good things or the bad things you know right. we're just like alright like let's try to do something else let's she, she just took a macro man like she just does artistic things out of nowhere and it's a if we're very similar in that sense of just like always wanting to fill our time we don't like not being busy and i'm sure you're the same way and people who are listening are the same way because they're probably doing 10 things right now right you know mm -hmm. you know so. vulnerable, vulnerability <laughs> is so it's so like special yeah you know? oh yeah and showing that to another individual and mm -hmm. it's so hard to show that yeah. And like, you know, throughout, you know, life and especially not only in the theater department or the theater business in general, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to show that on stage and all that. But of course, okay. like through time, things will just get better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. So Definitely. speaking of just like, you know, memories and just going through vulnerability and all of that, what was your guys' favorite um, times here at school at oh Wesleyan? Like what was like <laughs> the most like, oh my goodness, I remember when I was at Wesleyan, this happened. <laughs> oh god lots of things <laughs> but that was Leon, let me tell you um maybe <laughs> um, Geico well I would say one of the most um memorable moments for me i don't know whoever is going to listen to this but whoever wants to listen to this um simon uh <laughs> one of my favorite memories one of my absolute favorite memories had to be when i showed up to a fitting on time for simon wow and he's like he, he was just flabbergasted and at that moment, I realized, like, that that was also a lesson as well as a funny moment. And so I think that moment, like, really clicked for me. And so I was like, all right, just try to be on time. Like, the importance of being on time. Um, that's that's what I got. Uh, one That was one of my favorite memories. Um, can I have two? Yes, of Okay, all right. The <laughs> I think the other one was honestly um, realizing that the talent never stops. You know, you think, like, wow, like, these these alumni are leaving like what's gonna happen and then you see somebody or you see 10 somebodies and you're like wow like wow like this stuff just like people just keep getting pushed out like with just so much talent and you're just like wow okay whoa and you just you, like realizing how much talent there is in the world that that was a moment that I had here because it was just like I got here and everybody that I seen in an audition and everybody that was doing something was talented you know whether you're a seamstress or a or a conductor, or a producer, or a director, or an actor, or an actress, whatever you want to, whatever label you want. It's like, there's so many of you, but just know that you're something that nobody else is. Right. 
you know what I mean? Like knowing that there's one thing, whether it be the color of your hair, the color of your eyes, your inflection of your voice, there's something that's about you that allowed you to fit in this beautiful puzzle. So don't so don't think that like, oh wow, I'm not significant because this piece seems to be getting boom. Like no, like you are just as critical to creating this beautiful picture and this beautiful like machine that's working and just not getting lost and trying to compare yourself to other pieces. Right. Yeah, I don't know. That make I don't know if that made any sense. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Hope? Um, oh gosh, lots of good memories. I guess an overall memory that lasted for like a semester and a half was being able to be an, a teaching assistant for the directing courses. Um, I was in that. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. Sure. Lots of kids were. Um, it was honestly so much fun for me to revisit these courses. I have already taken them. Like I had taken them years before. You know, getting to one personally learn the basics again after I'd already done a few more challenging projects going back and visiting the you know framework of directing and these simple lessons that you just kind of forget about when you're in the process and just always finding ways that people's advice or stories um, will help you in the weirdest ways um, <laughs> but then also getting the chance to teach others I guess because there were moments there were class periods when Jack wouldn't come uh, because he was you know busy he had meetings he was doing x y and z but he trusted me to run the class and i think that the students trusted me to run the class i hope they did um i did <laughs> <laughs> um but it was fun i like yeah. had gotten comments being like you know hope you'd be a really good teacher <laughs> and it's like that's not necessarily the first thing i want to do but later on down the road maybe um but it was just it's really cool to see other people feel that feeling that I felt when the first show I directed opened. And it's really cool to see other people go through these processes and fall in love with directing because a lot of the times people don't realize how fun directing is until they do it. And it's scary. It's hard. It's a hard thing. Um, there's a lot of things you have to worry about. Like, it's it's stressful. But that but, first time, though. But that first time your show opens and you, like, you can't do, you literally cannot do a thing about what happens on stage. Yeah, because it's their story now. Yeah, it you is. It work. is. <laughs> it's the most freeing feeling. And just especially, I've gotten so lucky with the casts that I've gotten to work with throughout the multiple shows I've gotten to direct. I've just been very blessed with always being able to trust that the story will be true and that the actors will carry on exactly what they need to do and make it a beautiful story, a more beautiful story than I could ever tell on my own, you know? So that kind of went into me directing shows, but my experiences, like my hands-on experiences of directing would have to also be my favorite moments here. Um, specifically, Long Day's Journey and Tonight, because that is a piece that Student, students usually don't get to handle. Um, in fact, Jack, when I asked him if I could do it, he laughed in my face and said no. Um, and I convinced him, and it ended up being one of his favorite shows he's seen. And just the fact that, you know, I, I, I took my own advice and I didn't give up. I was not not afraid to be the one to start the conversations. Um, being like, hey, I know that you might not think a student can do this, but I think I can do this. Um, it's a four-act play, you know. It's <laughs> ended up being three and a half hours long. Which is actually not bad. It's not. It's, it's not. really not. I mean, it for seems a, like a beast. It really for does. For Eugene O'Neill show, that for, is actually really good. Yeah, for sure. And something, like, the show itself, just the way it's written is so beautifully written, and it's just the people who were telling the stories told it in such immaculate ways. Um... And just the process of finding the subtext of what O'Neill was saying, um, finding what he meant um, through not only his actual life stories, and because Long Day's Journey and Tonight was kind of like a autobiography in a way of what went on in his life, um, but also finding the universalities in what he was saying and the themes and how family drama is... <laughs> kind of the worst drama that can happen because these are people who are supposed to be so close to you, yet it's that feeling of wanting to be so close that you can't, in a way, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Um, 
these people want to, you know, they want to be there for each other, they want to love each other, but there's always just something that's in the way. And just finding those, like, little things like that and getting to explore and collaborate with all of those crazy, talented individuals that I got to work with. I don't know, it was a very memorable, memorable experience for sure, and one that I will cherish with me throughout my entire professional career, I have no doubt about it. So, that's those cool. are just a few. That's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and like I know like when you were, t- were in directing one and mm. like completely like just taking over and all of that it was just so refreshing kind of thing because like it's kind of like what you said going back to the basics mm-hmm. you know we learned this stuff in acting one you know we learned this stuff when we were in high school theater yeah and all of that you know at the time when Hope was directing well, well yes directing and he and was <laughs> um TAing this um class it was really nice to have not only like, but someone who is so dedicated. You could see the passion in her eyes and all of that when she was doing all of this stuff. And you, like when when I like had a problem with it, with a, a specific scene or a specific direction, she was always there. And you know that's kind of like what a way like what when students say like that, mm-hmm. where like you know you'd be such a good teacher is because you're so authentic and you're so real about everything. It wasn't it wasn't just like oh yeah here's a direction uh here's a scene. <laughs> yeah, bye. I'm only here because I was told to do it. Like, you were told to do it. Yeah, you no. wanted to do it. And you mm. could tell that when someone is really authentic with something and someone who is just doing it because they were told to. And, like, sure. something with James is, like, when you're, every time you're on stage, I promise this is not, like, I'm choking your ego. <laughs> no, you're like, so cute. I love just you. It's like, well, the things that I've learned through both of you and all that as a young individual who met you last year mm. and all of that, it's the presence about everything was so authentic. It was so, it was not forced. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm here because I was casted and I can't make them like mad and all of that, so I might as well just do it. No, it was just like, I am this character. This is my process. And I'm very humbled to be here right now. Hmm. And that is so admirable to the youth and all of that. And I bet like a bunch of listeners who. Well, I hope that they get a chance to like see you guys or like yeah. you know in the future all that which I believe they're going to be on Broadway and really win Tony's and Oscars <laughs> like, like no tomorrow that's the dream yeah. <laughs> but it's just like you know it's so inspiring to see that you can do it you know mm-hmm. these like although like two individuals are doing something like that's not maybe in their field or in their interest they're still doing the thing yeah. and sure. that's what's making them successful yeah. and that's what I like you know personally as like a young performer and like you know others listening to this is what's so authentic for not just for the both of you just for like others that yeah. you know you made the impact I just like you. my whole like sappy individual <laughs> things I just want to no. lash out because it was just you know people need to hear about like what's happening especially like yeah. you know you two are going to be impacting the world soon like, right after you guys are gone, you know, you're yeah. on your own. You won't have professors or students to, like, come up to you in every single way. It's yeah, now, no. like, you and the world. And you're just, let's look. And, look, and now you have the tools to do it. Yeah, for sure. That. We yeah. definitely do. I, it, there's a trick to that, though. The crystal that you have around your neck and what you were talking about earlier. It's having those things with you that you know bring you positive energy because this isn't easy like I, I won't lie to you like you will get in your head yeah. you 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 will you will sometimes be like "Ooh, should I really be doing this it, is this the right move for me am I gonna be just another dude with a degree uh like wherever in my life you know but you also have to realize like no like is this something that you really want to do and if it is you know that feeling and you know that that hunger and that thirst for wanting that is going to just keep growing, you know, and allowing yourself to let that grow and allowing yourself to realize like sometimes like, yeah, it's going to grow and it's going to feel like it's, it's such a big weight. And you're like, how am I supposed to find, like, how am I supposed to carry this thing? Like where, where, how am I supposed to even get up the steps to grab my diploma when I graduate? Like this is the last of the planned life thing that your parents have set out or, or that not even parents, but maybe just you set out. And you're like, I want to graduate college. Okay, now you want to do this and you want to do that. And of course, like the beautiful Oscars and the beautiful Tonys and the beautiful Grammys and all these great awards and the Olivers and things you think about. Olivier, sorry. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Olivers. (laughs) um, (laughs) 
but those things aren't important in the long run it's about who did who did you touch i hope that like through all this that some kid that came to any musical or any play that was here he came out being like that's something i want to do because that could be the next Lin Monroe Miranda. That could be the next right. Andrew Lloyd Webber. That could be the next Sam Shepard. You know, like it, it. It could be the next big thing. It could be the one who inspires people to sing and dance and move and communicate in a new way and open people's eyes that maybe were perspectives that were closed before. I, I don't. I don't think there's necessarily anything super special about my individual person, but I do feel like I'm been affected by very special people. I try to just be a mirror of that. And so as that, I don't know.